what you see in here is this really cool box that it comes in. You can see how thin this unit is and that it's a very large display. Of course, it's from a brand new carrier called Solove, and we'll get more into that in a little bit. So let's open up the box here. We've got some little plastic things. Once we loosen those, the box opens up, and we have a phone sitting right on top. So we pull the phone out. You'll notice it's got this protective plastic overlay, and it shows you little things like power and charging ports, the volume control, and so forth. The red thing is the camera, and on the bottom it's just a little branded audio uh, logo. Okay, so now we're pulling out the SIM card. You've got to have this to give your phone some personality. And we'll be putting that in in a little bit. So next, we open up the case and we pull out the quick start guide. This actually has got a lot of very useful information in it. And uh, everything from how to use your phone to a little bit of understanding how the Android operating system works. Uh, if you have an iPhone, this is quite different than what you're used to. So you might want to spend a little time getting used to that. Uh, as you can see, though, it's a pretty good manual. So, next thing we have is the USB charger. This is the unit that plugs into the wall. And, uh, and then, of course, the cable is going to plug into it. It's actually pretty high quality. It looks really nice. Got a nice gloss finish. It kind of matches the phone. And uh, as you can see, it's just very professional. Next thing we have is the cable itself. This is essentially a USB cable. Uh, and the Basic connection is going to be with a uh, standard USB on one end and a kind of a miniature USB on the other end. When you go to plug it in, it only goes in one way. Uh, if you get it wrong the first time, flip it over and plug it in. As you can see from the phone here, I'm looking to find out where the other connector goes. And as you can see, it's on the side. And on that side, you'll see a place to plug that little connector in. If you don't get it right the first time, just flip it over and plug it in. Now your phone's ready to be charged. Okay, so now we're going to be focusing on how we put this SIM card into the phone. You have to do this before you can use the phone. So that we have to basically remove the little protective cover that's at the top of the phone next to the camera. You pop out the little SIM card from the little card. Look for the little angled corner, as you can see in the bottom right corner there. And that's going to slide into this little slot. Kind of hard to find it but it's in the top corner there. You just slide it in there, and you have to click it down. So you actually have to kind of push it down until it goes click. And once it does, you'll see it looks like this. It's sitting in there nice and firmly, and it won't fall out. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is put the cover back on to protect the SIM card. And that kind of slides at a little bit of an angle in the bottom. You hear those little clicks. That's basically the unit snapping back together again. Next thing we do, is peel off the protective plastic cover. And uh, the phone is now ready to boot up. So there's a power switch. We push the little switch on the top, hold it for a second or so, and uh, that'll help it to turn on. Then we just sit here and wait until we start seeing the various prompts that come up. The first one is the HTC logo. And then as it warms up and boots up the software, what will happen next is the Solove logo will come up. Another cute little song. And uh, that's now in the process of booting up. And it's going to go through and get through these various screens. And uh, eventually it'll go searching for a signal. And don't worry if you don't get a signal right off the bat. Sometimes the phone just takes a little time to get started. Okay, so this is the final step of the setup. What we're going to do is select our language. We selected English in this case. Then click Next. After you've done that, it's going to ask you if you want to sync all your data, contacts, automatically or manually. I just selected manually and then clicked it. Click the Next button. And finally, we need to create an HTC account. You'll have to put a name, password, security question, that kind of stuff. When you're done, this is what you'll see. This is the final display on the phone. It has a bunch of little helpful hints. You can delete that after you're used to it. So. If you want one of these really cool phones, it's called an HTC One S. How about a $49 a month plan? This is for a cell phone plan. It's unlimited data, text, and voice with no contract. To find out more, visit us at solashare.com. Solashare.com. 
Have a great day.